Hello and welcome to the Hike Vision Smart Switch webinar. My name is Dan Hawkins and I work here at Hike Vision under many, many different guises. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the visualization of network topologies when using a Hike Vision Smart Switch. I'll be covering the pain points of traditional switches, some of the challenges dealt to us using an IP CCTV system, and then uh, get yourselves ready for a wild, wild ride. Before we get into the nitty gritty, I would like to take a look at some of the pain points of switches used in a traditional CCTV network. Unmanaged switches, these have no remote maintenance and we cannot determine what is connected and where. Very difficult to see what's going on. Then there are web managed switches, which can have less functionality and of course require a constant upgrade of web components. Then there are some fully managed switches, which require you to have a degree of Python code writing and C++ master's degree to see if a switch is powered on or not, requiring you to type comments into a terminal software to control the switch. But these are ultimately the most functional devices. Now we'll have a look at some of the CCTV IP network challenges. Unknown or unclear network structure. This may be because of third parties involvement into the IP network or a legacy installation. There are also network faults using poor networking tools or incorrect cabling. This may result in poor transmission in some areas. System security and network treated separately. For example, in a school or a medical facility where the networks are usually pinned down by an IT department. All these things can encumber a good IP network on which to deploy your IP surveillance system. In the presentation, we're gonna cover what are smart switches. General information of the smart switches, including naming rules, product family, and some general functions. Then we're gonna look at the system structure together with IVMS 4200 and Hype Pro Connect, and also the position of those different the most important part though is the functionality of the whole system, including a detailed introduction on Hype Pro Connect. During this part, we'll have a quick demonstration which will show you the topology on Hype Pro Connect. A little bit of platform compatibility and then a summary to summarize, including the advantages of our switch and what we bring to the customers. So what is a smart managed switch? A smart managed switch is not only a piece of networking hardware, but also a tool to be able to analyze and monitor your network infrastructure and condition. Some of the features you can gain from a Hype Vision smart managed switch include the ability to preview the network topology for all the relevant Hype Vision devices we have, including cameras, MBRs, access control devices. You can even drive the PTZ control over PTZ cameras. Systems can be monitored such as bandwidth, PoE consumption, and the connect connection status of cameras and devices. Hike Vision smart switches are also compatible with all main Hike Vision software platforms, Hike Central, IVMS 4200, and Hike Pro Connect. So some general information here, I'll be covering some of the basics surrounding the products, including the naming rules. Yes, my favorite part, the naming rules. The DS3E1326P-EI smart switch. Two main competitors in this series of products, the SI and the EI. The SI supports web management while the EI does not, and the EI supports remote configuration from IVMS 4200 while the web interface has some extra functions. And for the IVMS 4200, the configuration of the SI and EI series are both the same. There are three different types of port configuration. There's 100 megabits per second, gigabit power over ethernet, and gigabits without PoE. All devices support system topology review, real-time bandwidth, demonstrations, alarm management, and live view management. The 100 megabits PoE series of smart switch. Now, although this is the introduction product in the portfolio, it still has some powerful features. PoE the first with up to six kilovolts of PoE surge protection. Two gigabit upload link ports, which are combinable and also supporting long distance data transmission up to 300 meters using the extend mode. The gigabit PoE series has watchdog built in, which is able to detect and restart offline cameras automatically. Well, in actual fact, it's just the port. VLAN support for easy port isolation available enhancing our network security by segregating the ports away from the rest of the network. 
SSH, also known as Secure Shell or Secure Socket Shell. This, as you may already know, is a network uh, protocol that gives users, particularly system administrators, a secure way to access a computer over an unsecured network. Port mirroring is also supported and link aggregation, which is a way of bundling a bunch of individual ethernet links together so that they act like a single logical link. And we also have rate limiting. Uh, simply means that you can switch off or slow down traffic on a defined single port and keep it from exceeding any limitations that you set. Next, we'll have a look at some of the functionality. So system topology. With our software tools like IVMS, Hype Central, and Hype Pro Connect, it's possible to view the network topology of your IT infrastructure. Hype Central can support a max number of 128 switches. IVMS supports up to a maximum of 16 devices in topology. And Hype Pro Connect, you can see uh, up to 30 per site, 30 switches per site. Using Hype Pro Connect, the installer can deliver the solution. When the system is monitored, any required or scheduled maintenance can be delivered remotely, offering peace of mind to the customer that the system is being monitored proactively. Next up, some functionality and the features of the system. Some of the key features to highlight in this solution are that you only get one topology showing all of your devices in one place. This makes it easy to see all of your devices in one page. At a glance in the health monitoring, you get a full overview of all of your products that are built into the system. Real-time product data with feedback and notifications sent out to those that need it. Remote maintenance, which enables installers and integrators to support maintenance need quickly and efficiently. So here's an example of the topology using Hike Pro Connect. You can see the devices attached to the smart switch and their operational status. Two more examples next, one of IVMS 4200 and another of Hike Central showing how you can visualize the system topography, which is what it's all about. Although the colors are different, you can clearly see the devices hanging off the switch layer by layer in different softwares. There are different notifications to be given on these pages, red, green, and gray. Red obviously shows you that there's an alarm, Green means everything is operationally uh, normal or correct, and the gray means that there are no devices attached to that particular port. I'll have a look at this a little bit more when we go into the live demonstration. But with this information, you get further details such as detailed port information, like bit rate transmission or bandwidth usage. The ports can be remotely restarted as well if need be. All this information is available real time. It can also be set up to report at a significant time to suit the operator, maybe a Friday afternoon at 5 p.m. when the IT advisor needs to see what's going on with the system. The video shows an example of that large system being reviewed on Hype Connect remotely. Although that's on a PC, you also get a similar uh, web interface page on the application. Remote maintenance, as always, helps to improve on the efficiency of support to the customer, the installer, and the end user. With smart switches, installers, as I mentioned earlier, can be proactive in their endeavor to rectify any issues that may arise uh, as they can do this by locating the abnormal devices or rebooting abnormal devices. The switches also support online upgrading so routine maintenance can be carried out without disruption. Another benefit when viewing the topology is the ability to see the bandwidth usage across a device. A grey line shows normal bandwidth usage. A yellow line shows that the system is using up to, but not more than 80% of the allocated bandwidth. A red line indicates that the network consumption has reached over 80%, and this is at a critical level. The benefit here is that this will flag an alert to a device that is not operating efficiently as it should be, and something needs to be done. Next up, I'm gonna have a little bit of a live demonstration, show you what it looks like in Hike Pro Connect from a, a real live uh, instance. Um, we're going to switch over to one of our PCs that we've got ProConnect running on here. We've got our home page here and we've got our sites. And as you can see down the bottom, we've got our recently visited sites. And one of them is our Smart Manage Switch site. Once I click that, we've got a list of all the products which are listed within that site. Specifically, what we're looking for is the topology. Now, because we're using our Smart Switch, we've got this topology of our system. You can see the switch at the top and then the devices hanging off below. 
got a legacy uh, camera hanging off the switch from this one. We've got a DVR in the middle and then a camera on the right hand side. Now, up the top here, we've got this network cable and optical fiber lifts. The network cable is showing you that these cameras are connected normally via a network cable, not optical. And they are running normally because of the color, which we can tell. If it was yellow, we would say it was busy. And if it was red, we would say it was blocked or disconnected would give us a red cross, which I can demonstrate to you in a second. I'll refresh the page to make sure that everything is going right. If I scroll in with the wheel, you can see it gets bigger. So those with poor eyesight can see it quite easily and you can zoom out to make it smaller if you've got lots and lots of objects on there. We also have a zoom in, zoom out button up there. So if I hover over the network switch and click, we can see the details. We've got the model number, the ability to reboot the network switch from here. Again, the model number, serial number, whether the system is online. We've got some information on the usage of the device. If I hover over the image of the switch, we've got some port information here showing us which ports are being used currently. None of those are in alarm, they're all actually in normal. The gray ones just aren't connected. Again, if I scroll down a little bit further, we can see that ethernet port two is connected. We can see the bit rate transmission and we can see that the usage is normal. So we've not set any bandwidth limitations on there. It's not uh, peaking over those or hitting above 80%. If I hold the hover over the three lines on the right hand side, I can restart that port or enable extended mode if I want to uh, stretch the connectivity of that system a little bit further away. Now, if I take one of the cameras, disconnect the ethernet port. Once the system refreshes, you can instantly see that we've got an issue. The switch has got a red notification above it and the camera has a uh, red cross there identifying that the camera has been disconnected. So this gives us a real good uh, indication of what's going on with the system. Again, if I click on that network switch, the image shows us that the port is red, which shows us that there has been a power off of the ethernet on that port. If I plug that one back in, although it will take some time to reboot, We can see that the image has dropped off, but I can now see that the power has come back onto that port. Although it's not connected and it hasn't booted the camera up, we still know that that port is in use as it's been connected. There we go, port disconnected. So that's showing us that something is there, but it's just rebooting. Refresh again. We'll look for the device to make sure it's there. And once it's finished booting, it will come back up and show that there's three devices. So that concludes the live demonstration, just giving you a quick overview of what the topology looks like in Hike Pro Connect. So let's have a summary and a review of what we've learned so far. The switches offer us network management with a completed visual topology. System status monitoring and push alarms for mobile phone applications in real time. And we get image previews and controls with the ability for PTZ control. Thank you for your time. I hope you've had, uh, enjoyed our presentation. If you have any more questions, then please contact us at presales.uk at hypevision.com.